Good morning from my water tank. I'm trying to hide and shelter away from the wind a bit. It's pretty blustery out there. I've got a massive day of work ahead of me because I have a gaping hole in my water tank and everything is messy and the tools are everywhere because my friend Carrie and I, we did a lot of work the past couple days, but we were exhausted by the end of yesterday. If you want to see what we got up to, you can check out the video up there <laughs> and see the work we did. It was a lot, but I still have a lot of work ahead of me. So I'm going to give a little tour of what this place looks like right now. And then I'm going to check in again when I have everything tidied up, all my stuff prepared, and I'm ready to go laying some bricks. So first things first, I have a massive hole in the water tank. That's bad. This is the old pipe system. It's not connected to anything anymore. This is the new pipe system. It's connected to the whole part of the land, but it's not actually obviously connected to the water tank because it needs to be cemented in first. So this is my minimum requirement for today. Get this pipe cemented in. And also I'm gonna try to build a layer of bricks around the corner just to reinforce things and to hopefully solve this massive crack problem here. So I've got to dig down a bit more, lay some gravel, and then build the bricks back up. I've got the bricks ready, they're 10 centimeters. That should be good. And then over here, I have my spring basin. Carrie cleaned it out a bit yesterday. So something I can do immediately is block this off. The water's flowing quite quickly, so I'll let this fill up. And then I have my water pump over there, just laying willy-nilly amongst the stones. Once this reaches a certain level, I can drop the pump in here, pump the water from here into here. And I'll stick a plug in this, and I can also test to see if this is gonna hold the water. I know it holds the water because I've been using the swimming pool, but I've had to put the plug in on both sides, which isn't really ideal. So let's see if this one plug is going to hold the water. So as soon as the water level rises, I'll pump it out and slowly fill this one up and that'll keep this part of the tank dry. So as I prepare my stuff, I'm hoping that all this water slowly dries up because currently it's quite swampy. And then over here, I have a whole bunch of buckets of sand that Carrie brought down yesterday. And I'm gonna basically make a couple of pre-mixes. So it'll be one, ce one cement to three sands. I'll mix it all up dry. Goodbye, little snail. Go over there. I'll mix it up dry, and then that's gonna allow me to just take what I need, mix it in a smaller tray by hand, and then use it to lay the bricks and the foundation. So, as you can see, it's looking a little disastrous down here, but I feel very confident that I can get this done. And I'm really looking forward to getting started. So I'll spend the next hour or so probably doing a load of prep, and you'll see me again when I'm ready to hopefully block up the tank and lay some bricks. Okay, so I've been busy for a couple of hours. I cleaned the pool, I'll tell you why in a minute, but let's go over here first, where I've been tidying up the tools, got everything together here out of the way. I've scraped down a mound of dirt that was really annoying, I kept tripping over, and I've made one bucket of premix, three to one sand to cement, so that when I start working with the bricks, I'll just take out a portion of that and mix smaller batches, but that's ready to go. I've also been working down here, drilling out more of the ground because I feel like this needs to go lower. And I think I also will need to take out some of that as well. So I have to do some thinking about this still before I lay my first brick, but I did manage to get this pipe detached and out of the way. And all the water that was pooling here has drained down into the swamp garden. And then over here, I've given the pool a, a clean to a dubious standard. And that's because when I pump the water from here, rather than just storing it here for the moment, I'm actually gonna keep this full and use this as my water source while I work on the rest of the tank. That means that I don't really have to rush this. 
because if I need to pump, pump water up to the rest of my tanks by the house, I can pump from here, or I can also pump a little bit from here as well. So it just buys me time, means I don't have to rush. And anyone that knows my channel knows that I really don't like to rush. Perhaps you've noticed this blue stuff. That is paint from the bottom of the pool and the sides. It's been bubbling up and chipping off, flaking off. I'm not worried about the waterproofness of the pool because this thing has been waterproofed into oblivion with many layers, but it just doesn't look very nice. And I'm wondering if anyone knows why it might have happened and what I can possibly do about it. And over here we have the spring and it's full, ready to pump, and I've set the pump up. But let me show you what I have in mind. I've put a T-junction on here. Eventually I'll put a tap here and a tap here, and I can turn this tap off, turn the pump on, turn this tap on, and that'll allow me to fire water out of here, hooked up to some irrigation. It'll come out with some force from the pump, and yeah, maybe that's useful. It's something I've been meaning to do for a while, and I just never got around to it, so it's all sort of set up. I need a couple more taps, but mostly ready to go. And now I'm ready to fill this up using this. So I guess the idea is turn the pump on until this water runs out, fill it into here, see if the plug holds, hopefully it does, and then let this fill up again and repeat until this is full. But even when it fills up, I have the overflow going over yonder. So I feel like I have a pretty decent plan and now I'm ready to plug the pump in and see if it's all gonna work as expected. Okay. Here we go. Moment of truth. Stuff's happening. Stuff's happening. Come on, pump. Here we go. Yay! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where is that going? No, come back. Come back to the other side, hose. Come back to the other side. So it works. It's just a little directionally challenged. Come back over here. There we go. So how will I do this? I'm kind of stuck. I'm sort of... <laughs> Let's see here. I wish you could see me. I'm uh, trying to hold this and balance on the side of the wall at the same time. Okay, the camera's going away. I'm going to figure this out. Let me go turn this off rig up an elbow or something, and I'll come back down. <laughs> but it works. My concept has worked, so that's good news. My concept has worked, the direction is off. Okay, the elbow is on. The water is flowing and the spring will slowly be draining. So everything looks like it's going to plan. And it'll be curious to see how much water this holds compared to that, how many times it'll take to pump that out to fill this up. But right now it's all about lunch. I haven't eaten yet and I'm really tired. So I'm gonna take a break. I really need to contemplate what I'm doing about the front of that tank. I'm a little nervous if I'm honest. I sort of have a plan. But not a full plan. I kind of don't, don't know what my next step's gonna be, but I'm sure over some lunch, I'll figure it out. So I'll see you soon from the water tank. That breeze feels amazing. So lunch is done. In fact, lunch has been done for around three hours and I've basically been <laughs> drilling the entire time. I want the pipe to sit as flat as possible and for that to happen I've had to drill through an enormous stone and it's been a lot of work and I'm really really tired. I've been yeah spending a lot of time with Mega Drill and I love you Mega Drill but your hard work. I think I need some space. So I'm gonna switch focus now to putting the pipe, hopefully, in the tank. I've got some mixing to do, and yeah, we'll just get on with that. But before I start the work, 
I must caution you. Do not ever believe me if I say that something's going to take a couple of hours. That's not true. I expect to be finished work by now, but I'm really only beginning. Getting through this rock, doing all the prep, cleaning the swimming pool, all that stuff has taken a really long time and has taken it out of me as well. So I'm going to just do a little bit more to get this pipe into the wall. It's the one thing I wanted to accomplish today and I feel like if I push on for another hour or so I can get it done. And I wanted to get the pipe laying as flat as possible because obviously when the metal part goes into the tank it has to be tilted in a certain direction. And the reason I've attached the pipes all together beforehand is because first of all I had my friend Carrie here and secondly I didn't want to put the metal thing in the wall and then have to wiggle around too much with it. I wanted to kind of just get all the pipes together because you really do have to put quite a bit of force onto the pipe in order to push it into the hose section thing. So I didn't want to mess around too much with the metal bit, but I wanted to get them all working and up and running as soon as possible. So besides having to drill through a massive rock before putting this thing on the wall, I feel like it's a good plan. <laughs> but um, yeah, let's see if I get this done. I really want to go to a friend's barbecue tonight and I'm going to push on. And so the pipe will be the last thing I do. It'll be the last thing I do and then I'll go out and relax for the rest of the evening. So let's actually do some work rather than me talking about the work. Let's mix some cement and put this pipe into this wall. So there we have it. The pipe is sort of in. It needs more plastering stuff to flatten it all out, but I'll do that when I plaster the tank. And then over here, it looks a bit, a bit suspicious up there, but I can cram some cement in there later. And I've shoved some in that hole there. And over here, it's taken about one and a half of these to fill this and the pump actually pumps quicker than the overflow 
will take the water away. Uh, so that's good to know. But basically, things are moving along slowly and steadily. And I'm pleased. And I'm also completely exhausted and late for my friend's barbecue. So I'm gonna say goodbye. You'll see me tomorrow morning where hopefully I feel rested and ready to lay a whole bunch of bricks. It's gonna be another pretty full day of work, but I'm looking forward to it. So I'll see you then. Good morning. It's truly glorious out here. The weather's been perfect and I'm loving it. I'm up early because I want to catch the shadow in the water tank so I can bust out the laser level. And I've actually got a lot of stuff to show you today because I worked yesterday all day with the camera off and I just plowed through a whole bunch of work in the tank. So let's take a little tour. Behold, I have some bricks. I stuck all these guys in place yesterday. It's a bit treacherous down here. And I also built up a base of stuff so I can continue on today. I'm really hoping that I can get this full wall done today. It'll be a tight push, but I think I can do it. And then if I'm feeling really ambitious, I can also continue laying these bricks across there. But first, let's get the laser level out. Let's get some chalk. And let's mark this thing up. And it looks like I've got my two helpers here. Enjoying the swimming pool. So before I get started, I purchased some croc-like shoes and they are actually glorious. They're going to be really, really good for working in the garden this year. So let's get the lemons out of the way. These guys have been falling on my head as I've been working, so I'm definitely going to have to clear off all of the lemons from the tree before I get to work plastering on Tuesday. But right now it's all about marking up the levels of the pipes in the tank so I can put in another pipe. So it's, I don't know if it's dark enough for this. Hmm, maybe this is a nighttime task, I'm not sure. And maybe it needs to sit on the ground. That's better. Okay, let me show you what I'm up to. Two supervisors today, hey guys. So I have this pipe, and the idea for this one is to be not really an overflow, but a drain for the swimming pool and also the spring. I'd really love to keep my water sources separate so I can use them separately, drain them separately, and just have better water security that way. What do you think about that? I know, right? So I should probably put this in right now because once I build the bricks up, the wall's gonna be thick and it's gonna be annoying. I haven't decided if I want to because it's going to be a tricky job and I really just want to get the front wall done. But let me mark it up and I can make a decision later because when the sun comes out, I can't use the level in here. So basically what I want to see is the level of these drains here compared to the space I have left on the wall because obviously this pipe will have to be slightly lower than those pipes there. So it looks pretty good. I've got some room to play with here, I think. So the pipes that I have in the wall, or maybe I don't, come to about that level there. Mikey. Mikey, get out of there. It's not good for kitty cat eyes. You stay away for a little bit. So if I follow the line around, then yeah, it's right about here. So I could put the pipe in around there and it would be at the same level, which wouldn't be the end of the world if it's at the same level, but I obviously wanted a little lower. So 
Let me just mark this. That shows me the level of the pipes on the other side and I can make a decision later on. And I might actually mark over here because perhaps I'll put the pipe in over on this side where I have a little bit more space to go lower. I'd have to get that pipe out somehow, but I'll figure it out. So right now, it's time for some breakfast and some coffee because I definitely haven't woken up. And I might as well make myself a hot lemon tea as well. Boys are awake, breakfast and coffee has been consumed. Let's get to work. Actually, before I go down there, this guy's got the right idea. This is Jasmine on the beautiful trellis my dad made me. And it's doing its job for privacy, but the smell is just really, really wonderful as well. So I'm very pleased to have this here. And it's doing amazingly with zero attention from me. And while I'm over here, this is coming off soon, and I'm going to do an entire video dedicated to the most common question I get, what's behind door number two. So that's coming very soon, but now let's get to the water tank and let's start laying some bricks.
Okay, I'm back, and here's where I'm at with the work. I didn't get quite as much done on this side of the tank as you can see, and that's because I realized that in order to plaster the inside of the tank, which is the most pressing thing, this part doesn't really need to be done. I can do this anytime. So I changed focus and I put these bricks along the top and I put the overflow in as well. And that's because my friend Carrie is coming back on Tuesday, which is in two days, and we're going to have a crack at plastering this thing. There's a lot of scariness going on in here. There's a lot of stuff I need to clean off. There's a lot of stuff. I don't really know what it is. And I've kind of embedded all this, this metal mesh in when I was attempting plastering for the first time, which probably needs to be grinded away. Plus over on this side, it'll be a fine sand plaster that I wanna do. And I'm just gonna take this off. This was put in to kind of reinforce, mm, that's making me very dusty and gross. Uh, it was put in to make me, it was put in to help make sure there's no cracks when the plaster's done because I don't really know what I'm doing with plaster. But I feel like in order to clean the algae off of there, this mesh stuff is gonna have to come off. So I might just snip it at the top and try to pull off what I can. And over here, as you can see, it's looking pretty scary. So I still have loads to do to prepare for plastering on Tuesday, but I'm calling it quits. I'm tired. It's been a really physical day, but a very productive one. So I'm feeling good. I'm definitely feeling like I wanna have a shower and relax for the rest of the night though. So there will be no scrubbing of water tanks. That'll happen a different day but I'll try to get it done before Carrie comes. And if I don't, she can help me scrub and we can do it together and then start plastering a little later. So it's all good. Whatever gets done, gets done. And I'm really happy with the, the progress so far in this water tank. There's still a lot to do. Plastering is gonna be a really big job, but uh, I'm excited about having those bricks on, having the overflow in. And as far as the, oops, caught up in the lemon tree. As far as this pipe goes, I've decided that I want to use this behind me for the overflow in the spring. So I'll get it sort of chopped up a little bit. And I'm gonna get another one made that's about a third longer than this one. So it can span through the entire thickness of the wall without having to worry about not being able to connect the connector thing on. So I'll do that when I'm in town tomorrow. I'm going to the market. I wanna get some trees. I wanna get some seedlings because on the weekend, I have a group of permaculture design students coming from Kila Yoga Farm to do a work day. So I wanna have some stuff ready so they can get planting in the garden and help me uh, get that space under control because it's very terrifying right now. So that should be pretty fun. I'm looking forward to that. But right now, I'm looking forward to relaxing. So I'm gonna say goodbye from this video. Goodbye from this video. And I'll see you in the next one.